We're first year college students at Fresno State, and as we began our journey, there was a lot of information thrown at us, and inevitably some of that information falls through the cracks. For many college students, that missing information regards healthcare and the services provided at our university. As college students, how many of you know the services provided by your university? And how many of you consume caffeine? Caffeine is used as a coping mechanism for people who have high stress, lack of sleep, and other factors that impact our health, both physical and mental. However, there are other options for us, free options provided by our educational institutions. Click the link in our description to learn more about the Fresno State Services. Telemedicine rose in popularity due to the limitations of in-person doctor visits during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, it is still widely used, especially on college campuses. So, if there are all of these services, why don't people use them? Well, many people have barriers to access. This consists of lack of health insurance, limited awareness, cultural and language barriers, financial issues, discrimination based on sexual orientation, as well as race discrimination. A big one that we have on college campuses happens to be financial issues as well as limited awareness. So to speak a little bit more on awareness and help all of our college students become a little bit more aware, we did some research and one of the papers that we found was a 2013 study that provided a framework for what access is. And so this framework has five main um, parts to it, approachability, acceptability, availability and accommodation, affordability and appropriateness. So for each of those, it talks about the college students. So college students' ability to perceive their health literacy, their health beliefs, their trust and expectation, their ability to seek their care, so like their personal social values, their ability to reach the actual care that they're um, wanting to take, which for college students, a lot of time health centers are located centrally on campus, so it is somewhere that they're able to reach. Their ability to pay, which is a big one, um, as Amelia said, with the barrier, because a lot of health, um, college students don't know a lot about health insurance and their literacy, as well as their ability to engage, so how comfortable they feel engaging with someone um, that is a healthcare personnel, and how comfortable they feel actually taking the step to go and seek their care. Check out our next episode to learn how to utilize these services. If you're interested in learning more about what we talked about in this video, check the links in the description. And remember, if you pay for it, you might as well use them.